Hey, what's up guys? Riley Chase here with Hostify. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can downgrade or upgrade firmware across multiple devices on your Unify controller within the same site. Now, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because lately we've been helping a lot of people downgrade from the latest official release of Unify Access Point uh, firmware version 4.3.24, which has a lot of known issues with DHCP and multicast. And so we've been helping people downgrade to version 4.3.21, which is a known stable version. For some people, they've configured under settings, services, scheduled upgrades to automatically upgrade all their devices to the latest firmware as it becomes available. And now they're in a kind of a situation where all of their devices are on the latest software, but that software has known issues and they want to now downgrade all of their devices to the previous version. But that can be time consuming to do one device at a time across multiple sites and you know dozens or hundreds of devices. Now, unfortunately, you can't downgrade all the devices on your controller at once, but this is uh, still gonna save you a lot of time being able to downgrade um, all the devices across a site at a time. So to show you how this works, if you, for example, if you wanted to downgrade your wireless access points, in, in this example, we'll be downgrading from 4.3.24 to 4.3.21, you're gonna go over from the All tab and switch to Wireless. This is gonna show just the wireless devices and you'll see that because I have some devices which aren't on the latest firmware, there is a start rolling upgrade button. Now, if I click this, it's going to start updating these access points one at a time to the latest firmware version. But in this case, I actually want to downgrade the two versions or the two access points that are already on the latest version. So what I'm going to do is go over to the right side here, click this little ellipsis to open the menu to select more options for viewing. And we're going to select multiple devices. We're going to enable this checkbox here. And now on the left side, you can see I can select these two devices. They're both called spare. And um, on the right side, there are menus where I can customize the settings on them. And the menu that we are gonna look at right now is under manage devices. And under manage devices, there is the custom upgrade section where we can paste in the link to the previous firmware version and then click custom upgrade, which will actually downgrade the access points. And in order to find that link for the previous version of firmware, for these access points, we're gonna look at the device models. So in this example, we have a UAP AC Pro and a UAP AC Lite that we wanna to downgrade to the previous version of the firmware. We're gonna go over to Ubiquiti's website at ui.com slash download slash unify and find those devices here on the left-hand side. So I've located the Unify AP AC Pro. This is one of our devices. And if I go to see past firmware, I can see the previous version before 4.3.24 was 4.3.21. That's the version that we want to downgrade to. And so I'm going to click on that, click download, accept the terms and conditions. And we're not actually going to download the firmware file. We don't need that. We just need the link, the URL. So we're going to copy the URL, go back and paste it in. Now in this case, it's okay for me to paste in the same link for both devices, the UAP AC Pro and the UAP AC Lite are both using the same firmware version. If you look at the firmware here, you can see the UAP AC Lite slash LR slash Pro slash EDM slash M dash M Pro slash Inwall slash Inwall Pro. It's the same firmware version in this case for all of these device models. But if I had a Nano HD, for example, or a different device, I might need to upgrade those devices in a batch and then upgrade these devices in a separate batch. So just keep that in mind. So now that we've found our custom firmware uh, URL, we've pasted it in here and now we can click custom upgrade and we can go ahead and confirm that choice and it's gonna go ahead and download the firmware and install it on these devices. You can see that the status changed from connected to updating and now um, in a few minutes they're going to reboot and then the firmware version should be 4.3.21 instead of 4.3.24. So fast forward to a few minutes later, both devices are now connected and you can see that their firmware version is 4.3.21 so they successfully downgraded. Also keep in mind if you wanted to downgrade a bunch of switches, you could do the same thing but over here in the wired section. So that's the end of the video. If this was helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube, subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more content like this. And if you need any help with this, hit up our support team. You can head over to hostify.net and open a live chat. We'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.